This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. By the end of the tutorial, you're gonna be like, whoa, Lightroom is really easy to use. Why did I ever think it was complicated when it's so easy? That's what we try to do here. Today I'm talking about how to use the adjustment brush in Lightroom. This is an amazing tool. I use it in every single one of my photos and it's something that you really want to learn how to master. I actually have done a tutorial on it before so you can check that out if you want to. This time I'm going to show you how to use it with a portrait and I'm going to show you some more ways that you can be using this tool because I just think it's amazing and I think people are underutilizing it. So let's get into it. All right, so we're here in Lightroom in the develop module. This is where we do all of the editing in Lightroom. This is the completely raw, unedited photo. So I had a chance already to just do some basic edits and I got something that looks like this. Just some really simple changes in the basic panel, tone curve, HSL, uh, to get to this point. So at this point, it looks okay, but I'll show you what it looks like now with all of the adjustment brush changes. Boom, and it just, it pops. like. You're attracted to the text here, We the North, Go Raptors, um, the subject stands out, and there's a lot of little things happening that I'm gonna show you what I did in this photo. So let's go back to the um, one with my basic edits and I'll show you guys how we get here. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is select the adjustment brush. So you can either click here or the shortcut keyboard is the letter K, so you can press K and then it'll pop up as well. So we have a fresh new brush. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just cover the entire background with this brush. If you wanna see what you're doing, make sure you click here and it'll actually show you, which is kind of helpful. So the red isn't the change you're making, it's just showing you what's gonna be affected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unclick this and now I can actually see my changes that I'm making. So the first thing is, is that I want this to be a bit bluer of a background. So I'm just gonna do that just a little bit. I actually want the exposure to come down a little bit too, just because I want uh, me to, like the subject to pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring the exposure down, I'm gonna bring the highlights up and the shadows down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the clarity down. This is gonna make it a little bit blurry. Again, only do this a little bit. Like if I went to here, that looks, hella fake so just don't do that only do it a little bit usually with the adjustment brush you only need a little bit now the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna bring the saturation down a little bit just because um, again I just want the subject to pop a bit more and maybe that grass not to be so green now if you see any issues you can fix it so I'm gonna feather this a little bit more and I'm just gonna kind of go in on that part and over here a little bit now, the next thing we're gonna do, and this is probably the first thing you looked at, is the hat. You guys were probably like, why is that gray? Fix it, that looks terrible. And I agree. It kind of got uh, grayed out when I changed some things around here and in the tone curve. So we're gonna kind of fix that and make it pop even more than it did before. So again, pick the adjustment brush. We're gonna have a brand new brush, and this time I am going to cover the hat. And again, we'll click that just so we can really see our changes. Press option to erase anything you don't want. There we go, okay, unselect so we can actually see the changes that we're gonna make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the exposure quite a bit and, and, and bear with me as I make these changes because I know it looks bad for a second, but sometimes things have to look bad before you can get it to look good. I'm gonna bring up the contrast. Uh, I'm gonna bring the blacks down because yeah, this is not looking how I want it to look so far. Quite a bit. Now we're gonna pump up the whites. Like crazy pump up the whites. Yes. Look at that. Make those things pearly. Beautiful. Uh, and I think I'm gonna bring up the highlights as well. So that's gonna affect that area. Of course, I'm gonna bring up the clarity here and maybe not that much. This looks really good. Now, the one thing that you kind of can notice is that there's like maybe a bit of a blue tone in there. 
uh, some other kind of colors so I'm going to bring down the saturation because I just want this hat to be pure black and white basically so I'm gonna bring it down to around there and we'll bring up the sharpness a little bit just to really get that going but yeah there we go that looks so much better so much better go I'll just show you those two changes so without the background in the hat add that quick simple change that looks great so we're gonna click done now looking at this image everything looks pretty cohesive about it but this stupid belt is brown and the whole outfit is black I do not know why I chose to wear a brown belt this day but I don't like that at all so we're gonna fix it we're gonna change the color we're gonna pick the adjustment brush there and what we're gonna do is highlight the belt here and I am going to just bring down the saturation like no tomorrow yeah basically just all the way bring it down yeah that's good I'm gonna bring down the black so it's a bit darker in there kind of will make that blend a little bit better and then I'm gonna increase the highlights because I think the silver part of the belt looks cool so yeah I'm happy with that to kind of color match I'm gonna I'm gonna actually brush this onto the zipper here as well just to kind of color match those two those two elements of the outfit together so that's looking really good the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen up the glasses a little bit just so that they pop a bit more as well so picking that adjustment brush um, I'm gonna zoom in uh, con command plus to zoom in and yeah now I'm just gonna cover this cover all of the glasses there we go so now that I have that all selected I am going to bring up the clarity quite a bit again we can undo that if we don't want to see it I'm gonna bring up the shadows bring up the highlights and then I'm gonna take the blacks down a little bit this kind of makes it look a bit more contrasty without changing too much so that looks great and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make my hair look you know a bit more baller so one last adjustment brush we're gonna pick that zoom in again on the hair uh, and then we're gonna highlight it all and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring up the exposure I'm gonna bring up the contrast hair usually looks cool when it's like really contrasty I'm gonna bring up the highlights bring up those shadows yeah I'm gonna bring up the clarity quite a bit there we go I'm gonna take the saturation down so it's not too too like goldeny it's gonna be a bit more white and then we're gonna do the sharpness just click this to check that I actually got all of it and for the most part I did I missed a lot that's why it's really nice to just show the selected mask overlay so that you can really see what what you're doing there we go done and those are all the changes that we made so we really really did a lot with this photo and the adjustment brush changes brought it to the next level so now that you've learned all about how to use the adjustment brush in Lightroom I know what you're thinking you're sitting there and you're thinking Lucy that was so much fun to learn about where else can I learn about more things online well friend I'll tell you there's this place called Skillshare <laughs> but actually Skillshare is amazing Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in business photography videography editing if you can think it they have a course about it and I think that they are the best place to learn online so I'm actually doing a course right now I'm doing a course all about iPhone photography because I'm going on a trip this week and when I'm doing trips for fun I don't always want to lug my camera around with me like I'll take it some of the days but sometimes you just don't want to have to think about it but I will always want to get a good photo and take a good gram so this iPhone photography course is, is fun so check it out if you guys are interested I have a link down in the description down there uh, the first 500 people are gonna get two months free to Skillshare so it's free I don't know why you wouldn't sign up free two months to learn literally anything you want to learn so click the link down there and yeah have a great week guys I'll see you next Monday peace out oh and I should say like subscribe hit the bell leave me a comment about whatever and uh, yeah bye